Welcome to an unexpected vidcast! I'm Fastbro Proudfeet. And I'm Ruby Ray! Let's have a Hobbit tale! Well, Master Belimpo, do you have a story for us this evening? We do indeed, Miss Oleander Rose. It's about Old Man Waddle that lives up with them strange big folk up a Bree. Now Old Man Waddle, he fell into a puddle that had been left there by the rain. He nearly missed it, but his leg hit a twist and with a big splash down he came. Now I'm not joking, he really got a soak in, but it's his own fault, you see. Cause according to this tale, he'd a too much air, let the pony down in Bree. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. And he cried, oh my, and a mercy me. The people did laugh, cause Waddle looked daft with his legs wiggling in the air. And old Waddle frowned, I nearly drowned. Now how did that puddle get there? Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. And he cried, oh my, and a mercy me. He stood up proud and laughed out loud. And he pulled a fish out his ear. Well, I'd not been wishing to go worth fishing. I'd only gone out for a beer. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. Well, Waddle's in a muddle in a puddle in Bree. And he cried, oh my, and a mercy me. Well, lucky old me so it's fishes for tea now should it be baked or fried and the moral of this tale is when you go for ale have a fishing rod by your side well waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie and he cried oh my and a mercy me a hey, waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie waddles in a muddle in a puddle in brie and he cried oh my and a mercy me Hello, Pascal here, and welcome to another Big Bellow! Well, before we find out who's invicted this week, let's catch up with the goings-on inside the house. First up, Blango still feeling very sore after eating all of those poisonous mushrooms. Hmm, the food rations seem to have lasted much longer since young Master Blango became ill. I wonder... Darlin was called to the diary room. Darlin, you and the contestants will each perform in a play. If you do it satisfactorily, you will win food and extra rations for the whole of the housemates. We will win extra wine and food if we manage to complete a task. The task is a play about the farmer's fair. How degrading. There's no way I'm taking part in this. We have to wear masks. Good. I've been hoping since you came in here that you'd be putting something over that ugly face of yours. <laughs> How dare you! She's beautiful! Look! They are animal masks! A duck and a pig! Blango should probably be the pig. And you should probably be the chicken. <laughs> right, that's it. I've no intention of taking part. I'm going. I'm leaving the burrow. With that, Pashadan actually did try and leave the big burrow, and it took lots of effort to stop him. I had to actually come and run to the rescue myself, and use all of my great persuasive skills. You'll be glad to know, though, that Pashadan did agree to take part, and the play did get underway. I don't think I can do it. I still feel sick from those mushrooms. <laughs> Um, uh, once upon a time, there was a young farmer who owned a big farm, but he was very, very poor, and the only way he could think about surviving was to sell all of his animals. Hmm. 
My, my, I'm poor. I need to sell my animals to make some money. I don't know what I'm to do if my animals ever ran off. Oink, oink! Oh no, a goblin! Ah. I'm getting out of here. Quack, quack. What's that? Ah. Oh, do I really have to? Oh. Oh, look at me, I'm a chicken. Ah! Oh, a goblin, I'm very scared. Oink, oink, up, uh, no, nay, nay. frightened off all the animals and look here comes the farmer maybe I can eat him too my animals they've all been frightened away take that let's see what this dead goblin has on him oh a sapphire shard and a broken sword sheath I won't be poor after all hooray so, there we have it. That's all the excitement today. Until now, when we find out who's going to be evicted. Let's go and join our contestants in the Big Burrow House. Who's it going to be? Your votes have all been counted. The excitement builds. And the next contestant leaving the Big Burrow will be... Pashred. Come on, pack your bags, Pashred. You're leaving. So, with nearly 50% of the votes, Pashrid is leaving the Big Burrow House. He didn't make many friends in there, did he? No, he made lots of enemies, including many, many a fight with his daughter rescuing. But, let's still give him a rousing cheer as he leaves the Big Burrow House and comes to join me and tell me all about his experiences in there. <coughs> <coughs> Pashford's going to join me now and answer a few questions about everything that's happened to him since he came into the big burrow. How have you found your time in there? Have you enjoyed yourself? Um, hmm. no, not really. Oh dear. Well, who do you want to see win? Well, my daughter Eskewin. I may have treated her rough whilst in the big burrow, but that's only because... I don't want her to get too attached to me. I mean, it's dangerous questing out there. Wow, that's a bit of a surprise. Well, oh, who would you like to see leave next? <laughs> well, that's easy. Dorlin. She's a natural. So there we have it. Pashrid leaves us. It's been quite exciting. Well, it's time to start voting again for next time. And next week, we'll be looking at a double eviction. There'll be two leaving. Get voting, people! See you next week on Big Burrow! Welcome to this week's store news! Free sample of the week is a 100% infamy or renown game for the PvPers. Use coupon code PVMP. We also have 20% off shared storage and also 20% off bolt upgrades, inventory bags and currency cap. And 
today's Fashions of Middle Earth provides us with a view of the clothing and steeds that you can buy with your Farmer's Fair tokens. Let us now look at the clothing and steed you can acquire if you purchase the premium Helm's Deep expansion pre-order.